Hey there, welcome to this uh, video of, for the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom unboxing. I'll be unboxing each one of these uh, individually. We have the uh, Link Amiibo from Tears of the Kingdom. We have the special uh, Switch Pro controller. We have the special edition OLED uh, Nintendo Switch. And we have the collector's edition of the game itself. So we'll be uh, unboxing each one of those individually. Alright, welcome to my final unboxing for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the collector's edition of the game itself. This should be the final unboxing unless they release something else uh, like new Amiibo or another controller or something. So um, this box does have uh, stickers Clear stickers on both ends, you know, to make sure, you know, no one tampered with it. Um, I'll show you the front again a little up close. Get some of the reflection in there. So it's a little glossy uh, on the front, those circles. And then you have the back here, which looks like a bit of, you know, what the story is about. Uh, I'm going to take a guess that that's Ganon and Ganondorf. And let's see here. So it tells us what it includes a game, art book, steel book, pin set, and icon art poster. Okay. All right. So, yeah, very fetching. Nice gold emblem on the black background with the little circle. So, I'm actually going to think I'll open from the bottom here. I like to keep my stuff looking pretty nice. Um, always have since I've been a young kid I've tried to keep it pretty nice looking didn't grow up having the whole you know everything so yeah you have to do keep your stuff looking nice whoa okay so this is probably might be harder to be pulling from this side uh, just in case you get your own collector's edition See, okay so that slid out pretty nicely and eh, it doesn't really look like the top would be any easier to open. Let me just uh, close this back up. Present that like that. Okay, so the first thing you have is a... So, Icon Art Posters Instructions. Okay, so you have some sort of instructions for the poster itself. But let's go through these items first. Okay, so we got the steel book steel case looks pretty cool got a nice shiny metallic look to it well I mean of course it is it's a steel book so it's got <laughs> metal already on it but then you have some uh, symbols here of some patron maybe it's one of the goddesses again and this might be Zelda herself over here uh, maybe taking something or making some sort of pact with someone. I really don't know. Could be anything. All right, let's open this up. Okay, so, yep, yeah, so we have some ins insides in there. So some sort of, some sort of glyphs. And then it looks like that's probably, uh, Ganon here. Sorry for the, the glare. It's pretty pretty glossy with this clear plastic or the translucent plastic there. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. I always enjoy the uh, steel books. Usually some pretty cool artwork on those. Put that up over there. Okay, and then we got, I mean, you know, to most people, this is going to be the most important item. Holy cow, that's really stuck in there. Okay, let me, let me take it out that way, all right? Nope, there you go. So it has a push hole in the back. So good thing not to force things, you know, get, don't try to force things, you know. So there is the game box itself. Most people are going to see this because that's the first thing you're going to buy. But I'll go ahead and show you everything while I'm at it. Oop. Be careful not to cut yourself. 
Most important, important thing, not to injure yourself. All right. Got the box cutter here. Oh man, this plastic is really sticking here. Any day now. All right. Okay. Do I have it now? Am I getting it? Oh boy, I don't even know if I want to look at the back too much. Spoilers. No, it's a, it'll be alright. Alright, so let's open this inside up real quick here. Okay, so this has pretty much that background of the inner casings is pretty much the same as what you get in the steel book. And here's the little game cartridge itself. We've all seen those. And I'll just give it to you closer up. Boy, you can't hold it. I gotta zoom out, zoom back in to get it focused there. Yep. Well, they try to fit as much artwork on there as they can, but obviously it's difficult with how small everything's gotten. So, yep. Uh, nothing too special about this. No. No gold, you know, plastic around it like they did for the, you know, games back in the day of the of the NES. Holy, whoa, whoa, whoa! Look out! Okay, we'll see if this box holds up. Oops. Nope. All right. So I'm just gonna leave that game down there. All right. So let's see what this is. I'm thinking this is the uh, pendant box or the pins. Yeah. It's pretty nice little etchings there on the side. Okay, so this is that corner and then the back doesn't have anything. Uh, this is cardboard. Oh, okay, there we go. So this is a nice cardboard that slides out. And then we have a bunch of different pins here. And they're all gold with like kind of a green backing I, don't, I think that's kind of picking up see how it's shining in the light there let me pull one of these out okay so you can see the back there and yep each one of them just uh, has writing on it the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on the back so got a pretty standard uh, pen nub there about half an inch long so I guess if you like putting pins on your jacket or your backpack or anything you can use those um, yeah I'm not for sure what all these symbols mean yet but I'm sure I'll get a better idea as I play the game so I'm not gonna take each one of these out individually I think we got a good enough look at those Put that back there. Okay, now what is this? This is the art book. This is the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom art book. Okay, I like that. I like the size. I'm glad. That's usually why they have to uh, increase the size, you know, the boxes that they're selling because of the art books. But I figure, you know, if I'm going to want to get collector's edition items, might as well get them at the beginning because these books will probably be, you know, they can run $25 to $30 each depending on how well they're done. And this is really nice. This has um, some embossed uh, graphics here. I think you can pick that up. You can see that in the light. And you can definitely see the, the Legend of Zelda, uh, or this graphic for the game is very shiny compared to the rest of the, the book. And then you have some black, shiny, like, you know, mazes, and that may be, these may be writings and glyphs, but I think, you know, it's kind of just like extra graphics there. And this is definitely some writing along here, you can see. But yeah, it's pretty cool embossing. Feels nice, and there's some sort of hand here. Some sort of hand right in here, and the eye up there. And some other symbols. And there's the side here nice looking whoa and then that back that back has a lot of black gloss here 
that's cool looking. Yeah, you can kind of see everything in my other room through there. <laughs> All right, I'll take a look at a couple of the pages here. Some of the artwork from the game. Let's see if I can get that. I don't want to turn it too much. I do not want to rip my book. Oh, that's cool looking. Yeah, that's some nice artwork. I'll I'll enjoy uh, I'll enjoy paging through this. But uh, don't want to look through too much through this either because we don't want to we don't want to ruin the game, do we? No, I want to I want to find out stuff for my own. All right, so that's the book. I'll leave that like this. And so this is some sort of steel poster here. All right. So again, that that these are the symbols, or these are the glyphs that were inside and the characters that were inside the uh, the game box itself and the steel book. All right. So I'll open this up. Right, so it's got some protection in there, cardboard protection. Ooh, ooh, ooh yeah. Uh, yeah, let's see what this looks like. Okay, so you have something here. Reliable adhesion, please apply the magnet to dry, clean, flat, and level wall surfaces only. Okay, so right off the bat, they give you something. Oh, okay, so it's like, I think this is... Yeah, so that was just magnetic uh, to that post to the poster itself. So it's a magnet. The whole poster is, you know, metal. All right. So there's the back, and there's the front. Ooh. Yeah, that looks nice. Whoa, shiny. All right. So this is the image you've seen. Uh, you can see, or you've seen on the game itself, but now this is the the widescreen uh, version there. Sorry, I'm trying to hold that up <laughs> level, and you can see every you know my recording behind it. That's how glossy it is. Uh, but yeah, very cool looking. Um, yeah, I'll have to figure out a place to hang that. All right. Well. That concludes uh, the unboxing for the collector's edition of the Tears of the Kingdom. Um, so we got the book. I'll, I'll recap real quick. We got the, the art book. Well, we and we just saw the steel print. All right. So we just saw the steel print. Um, obviously the game, the steel book case. And the pen collection. So, you know, depending on what you think of this, I mean, it's up for you to decide, you know, is the collector's edition worth it? Where are you able to even get it? I mean, I think they're kind of uh, trickling it out now, which is good. So people don't just buy it and then try to resell it, which is, which is good. Because I think people who want the collectors, you know, should have first dibs. But, um, yeah, so... That's it for my unboxings for The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, give me some information on other things you might like to see uh, unboxed or played. Um, but yeah, now I can get to playing this game and put some videos up. So again, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and we'll uh, see you next time.